So it was Saturday, January 30th, just a day before the Monster Hunter Festa Tournament in Osaka, Japan, down south. It was really bad weather, and I decided that instead of just spending it in the house, I should spend the money, hop on a bullet train all of a sudden with no plan whatsoever, and go check out the event live. And because I was going down to Osaka, I figured I may as well go to Universal Studios Japan and check out the Monster Hunter The Real event that they had going on. Okay, then finally, after two and a half hours on the fastest bullet train we have in Japan, I made it to Shin Osaka. From there, it was still another 30 minute trek all the way down to Universal Studios. Man, that guy was in a hurry. Um, but I got eventually to the studios, and if you've been to Universal Studios in the West, it's pretty much the same thing. It just has the word Osaka on it. So you had the same restaurants, the same Bubba Gump, TGI Fridays, Hard Rock, uh, Cafe, you name it. So it didn't feel much different than, say, California. Then finally, I got there. This was actually my first time ever going to Universal Studios here in Japan. It pretty much felt like a Disneyland minus the Disney. So it was very similar in construction and also just, I think, general atmosphere. It was pretty cool, but it drew a lot of people over to the park. Then on the park on the left hand side they have this collaboration section which they had Biohazard which is Resident Evil in the West, they had an Attack on Titan and also a Monster Hunter the Real event. Outside the event they had this huge Dinovaldo that you can get on the back, his back and get your photo taken. Very cool. And they also had a really nice merchandise stand and I did a little bit of shopping. Just a lot of really cute stuff, all of it Universal Studios Japan exclusive. Love the poogies. <laughs> Inside the actual hall, they had life-size replicas of all the collaboration gear that they've done, including the pig, all the different armor, and all the different weapons that they've done as well, which is really nice. You can tell a lot of love and detail has gone into these models. That over there, I believe, is the broken-as-heck Star Knight set for Monster Hunter for Ultimate. Then on the other side of the wall, they had some other really cool things, like some weapons and some items, so you can see what they look like in real life. I really like this one. They had a kinsect next to the insect glaive. This thing was really big. It's hard to tell, but I put my hand out so you can see. Big. <laughs> some Zenogre weapons um, and some other stuff. It was just really cool. From a Monster Hunter geek, um, being able to see this stuff is really cool. It also makes you think, how the heck did these hunters wield these things? They're really big and would be really heavy as well. Then over in the other section, they had a place where you can do a time attack challenge with one other person, whether it was random or someone you were with. And if you can kill a Dino Valdo in under 11 minutes in the arena high rank, then you earned a special badge. I paired up with a random kid, and we managed to do it in just under six and a half minutes, so I'm pretty happy with the time we got. This is the main attraction. You had a life-size Gold Thunder Zenogre and Black Flame Lord Rathalos, and after a while of looking at the model, they would turn to life. And after the show was over, it just became really silent and went back to normal. So they would alternate between them, so everybody would sort of just go left and right, and a lot of people were allowed to take pictures and videos as well, which I thought was pretty cool. So that was the Gold Thunders and Ogre. Now let's go over to the Dark Flame Lord Rathalos. 
Unfortunately, someone brought their kid and it was terrified by the Rathalos, which I could understand. I mean, they don't seem very terrifying, but these were life-sized. And they also had some fun things like this light bow gun game where you sort of did a slingshot and you had to knock down the monsters and then an extra target. And if you were able to do all of this within 90 seconds, you were able to win either a plush Fenny or a Poogie. Unfortunately, I tried it. It cost $10, um, but I just missed by two targets. But hey, what the heck? This is the download section where you can get the special collaboration gear in Quest. Overall, it was a fun event, so I went ahead and I checked out Universal Studios afterwards. I mean, it was okay, I guess. I was pretty surprised by the amount of just girlfriends that were out at the park just taking pictures and having a good time. Of course, you see this at Tokyo Disneyland as well. Tons and tons of selfie sticks, though. <laughs> then again, I can't complain. I do vlogging stuff, so... And just your typical ride fare. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the look at Monster Hunter The Real. It's very cool, so if you find yourself in Osaka anytime this spring, go and check it out. Till next time, happy hunting.